welcome back to my channel. So it's a new year and I'm back with lots of new videos which you've requested and the most requested is more posing and more directing videos. So I'm here today on a beautiful location in Kent with my couple Danielle and Luke and I'm going to bring you along behind the scenes of how to capture an engagement shoot, a couple shoots in a kind of woodland setting. So for today's setup I'm keeping it really really minimal. So if I'm shooting an engagement shoot or a couple shoot on location I tend to just use one body. If I wear a harness, people tend to stop you. Lots of places don't let you because you look too professional. They think it's for commercial use. So I try to keep it really streamlined on location. I'm going to start with a 35, 1.4, but I have packed a 24 and an 85. And these are my favorite free lenses for pretty much everything. So we're going to experiment with all the different lenses and show you the results and the settings to kind of get the achievement and the results you need. Okay, let me just have a little look. Uh, long. Yeah. So prior to today's shoot, I have kind of sent a mood board of kind of color palette to Danielle and Luke. So outfit choice for location is so important and it really shouldn't be underestimated. Back in the day, I would just say, hey, let's, this is the location, see you there. And no kind of thought had gone into the outfits when the outfit really can make a good shoot great. The color palette does it kind of work with the environment. So the environment today is obviously green and brown and kind of beige. So I want to think that pops, that's kind of earthy and I don't think bright colors or patterns with suits. I've just gone for a black palette. So it is really windy. I love wind on a shoot, I love it. But I just love all the elements and the hair moving. But obviously it can be quite chaotic when you're shooting with couples. So if you pop your phone out of your pocket, any keys, so always check at the beginning of the shoot because people always have phones in their pockets and it just evolves that kind of bulge for pictures so it's less editing for you. So have you got a favorite side, Danya? Are you better on the left or the right? What's your favorite? Yeah, Luke's left. Perfect. So always ask um, if your couple has a preference or people tend to like a set side. So always find out and that way you can kind of avoid taking loads of pictures they're going to hate. The only rule I have for shoots is just always be connected. So always holding hands. Okay. So what I'm going to to do is if you guys hold hands and just walk down to kind of the middle of this gate here. Perfect. So what I'm doing is actually photographing them walking and getting them kind of warmed up because if I just start shooting in their face straight away it's going to be too much and they need to kind of get comfortable so i'm going to stand back here to begin with and i think this is a really good tip that's perfect so what i'm doing is just letting them chat to themselves and kind of get comfortable before i start going guns are blazing and ask them to start kissing and doing all kinds of things so right now if you look at the actual lights it, it's backlit so the background is really overexposed. It's actually quite tricky right now. I'm shooting ISA 100, aperture 2.0, because I kind of want that kind of dreaminess. And shutter speed is a thousand, so I can still kind of get those tones. So if the wind's blowing this, but I'm gonna get you to switch just for like wind machine purposes. <laughs> so if there is wind on a windy day, use it. Use the wind, because wind is so dramatic. I love the drama of a wind. It can make a picture dramatic. And do you see how the wind's going that way? So it's gonna make her hair flow. And I love that. So using that left hand loop, do a Jenny caress her ear and kind of move that lovely, yes. I mean to kiss that nose ever so slowly. <laughs> and then that forehead, that's lovely. And then Danielle, ever so slightly turn your head to me if you kiss Danielle's cheek. But Danielle, look at me. And then close your eyes. That's stunning, love that. And then using this hand, you just also touch Luke's face as well. Yeah, so both have your hands. That's love, that wind is just, just gonna wait for that wind to pick up and get even closer. That's nice. the lighting. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The lighting. You guys are nailing this already. Luke, you sit with your legs kind of like this, yep. and then Danielle between Luke's legs, and then wrap your arms around her. And I'm doing this in a mini skirt this time. This is, yeah, dress appropriately for shoots. <laughs> but also look fabulous. <laughs> That's my motto. So for this picture, composition one, I want to get like the rocks and them at the top. So settings, ISO 100, aperture 2.0, shutter speed, one over 1600. Still quite overexposed. It's not my favorite tide flight for me. I do love an overcast day, but this is how it is with photography. You just got to work every type of light. Now, Luke, if you pop your arms higher up here and then have your hands here, Danielle, that's lovely, and get head closer together. 
So that also are my, so for me, if you put your hands like this, it's very like prom or like maternity, but if you have them higher up here, that's more, I think, romantic. So I always try and encourage that on shoes. Put your arms around Luke's neck and just let the hair go behind your back. Let it flow in the wind. That's nice. And then go forehead to forehead. That's lovely. Try and get your bodies touching closer, closer, closer. Get press right up against her. That's lovely. So always try and get their bodies connected the whole time. So also with locations like this, it's all about maximizing how many poses, how many shots you can do in one location without kind of going up and down and just keeping it safe and keeping it simple. I don't want to go too daring because it is a bunch of rocks and I don't want them to die. So you have to be so careful. With that, some really lovely shots of them in position, shots of them walking away. And you'd be amazed at the shots walking away. Those are the most natural shots and you can get some real little diamonds in there. So always be shooting. Yay! Right. Oh, wow. So there's an even better location over here. Just to clarify, this is the UK. We don't have mouths, well we do in the, the Lake District and up north, but this is the UK. This is in Kent, by the way. So this is actually gonna be really overexposed and bright, but I'm gonna shoot it and just go for it. So obviously some shots, you're gonna be holding it like this, and like this, and like this, and then you can obviously play with it and bring it down here, so like mix it up. That's right. So feel free to demonstrate, I do always kind of breaks down that awkwardness barrier because you just made it even more awkward. <laughs> I'm going to start wide and I'm going to go and try to get that detail in the background. So aperture wise, 4.5 and then going for a kiss. Lovely. Yes, wind, come through, mother nature. That's what we like. Bring it even closer. That's nice, yes and changing my, my aperture back now because I had it on 4.0 I'm going to keep that and whack it down to about 1.8 just look straight into camera yeah that's lovely sultry yes and then if you kiss Danielle's forehead the cheek yes even better cheek love that stunning babe I love looking to camera I like I think it's a good mix to do both because obviously as photographers we do lots of don't look at us don't look at us but really it's nice I think it's very powerful to look to camera so very occasionally I will get one of them to look into camera. If you're shooting that's really, really sunny, it's really sunny and exposed, just keep shooting and kind of try it and just experiment. Because I think years, years ago, I'd be like, no, it's too bright, I'm not shooting that. When, yeah, I would always try and put shade first, but you don't always have that luxury. And in England, the light is completely different. So if you were shooting harsh light in another country, you'd have completely different results. But the quality of light in England is very, very different to California, to Centering, to Greece to Morocco so embrace it and obviously we can change and experiment and edit post. So what I might get you to do is if you sit down to position that feels comfortable to you and then I'll probably tweak it and see. You can kind of like sit on Luke's lap or you can interlock your legs or you can kind of go on your knees and then get your bodies even closer. Love that. That's stunning. If you whisper in her ear something cheeky that's lovely and that's naturally making her smile, that's lovely. So do you see how the light here is completely different? So the background is all in the shade, so you're gonna have a completely different picture compared to earlier when the background was blown out, so all that will potentially be kind of white, yellow. This even edit will probably be a lot more consistent. That's lovely, you go nose to nose, that's lovely. Oh, I love that, the wind, that's gorgeous. Oh, can I get you guys to shuffle this way a bit? I'm so sorry. So if you want them to move, just ask them to move. Like don't commit to a spot forever, like keep changing it. Because even if you move just a fraction, you could get a completely different shot. Now this time, stay where you are, but interlock these hands here. Go watch your, this hand and that hand. So interlock them and then bring them close to your chest and look at each other. Love that. And what I'm gonna do is photograph those hands super close on the face. If you actually like nestle onto Luke's chest. So it's just like, we're cuddling on a rock, as we do. So Luke, with that arm, pop it under your neck so that's gonna prop you up so then your posture is a bit more. That's lovely. And then get your head to ease. That's perfect. Love that. So I'm trying lots of different angles. So this gives me the kind of benefit that I can go above them. And then close your eyes, that's beautiful. So already we've got loads and loads and loads of pictures. 
so many different options. You've gone from there to there, to sitting down, to lying down, to walking. Ooh, sun flare, let's use that. So on location, I'm always just like chatting with my couple and also looking around at locations the whole time because you just never really know. So I'm always looking at potential and always looking at the lights. So for me now, the light is here. So it's obviously it's like midday, it's bright, but I'm gonna use it and try and probably get a flare between them. If you come about here, and if you get really close together, I'm gonna to use that sun, and it's really kind of hard because it's right in my face. Right, while my eyes just adjust from that <laughs> blinding light, let's have a little look. So, ISO 160, aperture 1.8, that's lovely. I am getting rainbows in my camera from that flare, which some people really like. I find them really infuriating, <laughs> if I'm honest. So I'm trying to like work the angles of where that sun is hitting. So just moving my body. So I'm shooting aperture priority. And the benefit of that is you can just set your shutter speed for the minimum you want it. And then work the exposure dial up and down. And when I'm working with sun flares or golden hour, I'm constantly changing my settings because you can get different effects, different kind of looks. And if you guys hold hands and walk towards me and keep looking at each other, beautiful. Love that, keep walking. So I actually quite like how half of it is in like shade, half of it's like bright, which I really quite like. That's beautiful. And then if you look down for me, that's lovely. And then, Danielle, you go in front and then wrap your arm, you stand in front of Luke. Kind of like in here. Lovely, if you both go forehead to forehead and close your eyes. Gorgeous, got it. Sure. Done, let me just have a little look and see what we've got. Yay, nailed it. So that is a wrap for today's shoot. I hope you enjoyed coming along and seeing behind the scenes. Today was really, really different. The light was so bright, such, a, which is, I'm not complaining about because I love good weather, um, but it would be really interesting to see the results and how I'm gonna edit them. But I have some favorites already. I know which ones I know I'm gonna love. I think the ones on the rocks, when they sat down facing each other. I'm really excited for those ones. But make sure you hit subscribe for more videos so I can bring you more education, more behind the scenes, and I'll see you soon.